Hi, I am Santos Parazuli from Department of Electrical and Electronics Engineering, School of Engineering, Kathmandu University. Welcome to the second lecture, Analysis of an AC Circuit in the five-part lecture series of the course Electronics Engineering. Let's analyze an AC circuit by finding all the node potentials and branch currents. The calculated voltages and currents should be verified by using software as well. The circuit has one inductor, one resistor, one capacitor, an alternating voltage source and a current source. Resistor and capacitor are in series. Some basic concepts are needed to solve this AC circuit and these concepts can be generalized to solve any AC circuits. A. There must be consistency in assuming the polarity of potential drop across an electronic device. B. One should always be aware of the fact that current through a resistor is not equal to voltage over resistance uh, but is always equal to voltage difference over resistance. C. Sum of entering currents at a node is always equal to sum of outgoing currents through that node. D. Inductor can be modeled as a frequency dependent resistor. At 60 Hz, 15.915 millihenry inductor offers a resistance of 6 ohms with 90 degrees phase shift between current and voltage. Inductor always introduces plus 90 degrees phase shift. Unlike resistor, inductor and capacitor introduce phase shift between current and voltage. E. Capacitor can be modeled as a frequency dependent resistor. At 60 Hz, 331.57 microfarad capacitor offers a resistance of 8 ohms with minus 90 degrees phase shift between current and voltage. Capacitor always introduces minus 90 degrees phase shift. F. To be in line with resistance notation of inductor and capacitor, uh, it is recommended to write pure resistance as R ohm angle 0 degrees. This means uh, resistor resistance is frequency independent and resistor does not introduce any phase shift between current and voltage. Your resistor and capacitor are in series, so they are added. Uh, sum of 6 angle 0 and 8 angle minus 90 is 10 angle minus 53.13. At node B, I1 plus I2 is equal to I3. I1 is equal to 20 angle 30 minus BV over the resistance of inductor, uh, that is 6 angle plus 90. I3 is BV minus 0 over a combined resistance of 10 angle minus 53.13. Uh, this yields potential of node B, uh, 44.18 volts, angle 17.05 degrees. Uh, assuming sinusoidal variation of the input signal, uh, root mean square value of BB is 31.23 volts. Uh, after finding BB, uh, I1 and I3 are computed as uh, 4.18 amperes, angle 96.76 degrees, and 4.42 amperes, angle 70.1 degrees. Uh, to find the voltage across capacitor, current through capacitor I3 should be multiplied by the resistance of the capacitor. This yields RMS value of RMS voltage of 25 volts across the capacitor. Now let's verify the circuit using Multisim, uh, an electronic simulation software. <laughs> 